Great. Hi, my name's Rihanna, and this is my first year working at the Women's Center. Hi, my name is Carla Spearman, and this is my second year working at the Women's Center. Um, so today I'm just going to be asking Carla some questions about um, this thing called an affirmation jar that I'll be showing you how to make later. Um, so Carla, what is an affirmation jar? Uh, an affirmation jar is similar to a swear jar where swear jars usually if you swear you put money in the jar but for affirmation jars if you say something negative about yourself or about your workspace you write a positive affirmation and put it in the jar um, it really helps you keep track of how often you say negative things about yourself and you slowly start to see it turning around but also when you feel those negative things about yourself even if you don't say it out loud you can always go back to the jar and take something out Awesome. So, how was it used in person at the Women's Center? Because there's a jar in the Women's Center. Yes, there is. Um, usually, we use it a lot um, during staff meetings where we usually make a mistake. And when we we do what's called um, Rose and Thorn, for the roses, we say something we did that week and something we might have messed up on or misunderstood. And usually, people accidentally let things out like negatively about themselves. So Dr. Murray or Mary Catherine would be like, oh, affirmation jar, compliment jar. And you have to write down something positive for someone else or even yourself to take out of the jar later. I love that. Um, so what are some example affirmations or other instances in which someone might get sent to the jar? Um, some good affirmations that I've personally taken out. One said that you are stronger than you believe. Um, words good. are important. Um, there's been a few good ones. I mean, there are things like you are beautiful and stuff like that, but we try to stray away from physical things, you know, mm -hmm. and focus more on uh, emotional and mental kind of compliments and affirmations. Awesome. And do you think it helped you with that, with those things, with your negative feelings and your affirmations? Oh, 100%. I'd say so. Because it kind of trained, you don't want to have to go write something and down and put it in the jar. So it kind of trained your mind not to think that way and say those things. Yeah, I love that. Um, so how would you use an affirmation jar at home in your everyday life? Uh, I feel like with everything being remote, everything is going to be a lot harder and we're going to be a lot harder on ourselves, um, especially those who struggle with self-discipline and working at home because it's, it's a completely different thing. It's a completely different setup. So when we're feeling down about ourselves and kind of mock ourselves or put ourselves down, um, I feel like an affirmation jar could help not only put an end to that, but also lift our spirits up. And even if you make an affirmation jar and then switch your jar with a friend or mail it to a friend, that would be really cool too. That's a really good idea. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you for answering my questions.